Yeah, Toby. The art project. Remember, Friday treats on a Friday afternoon, not Monday mornings, all right? Okay, Mum. All right, come here. Off to school now. Fine. Bye, Mum. Bye-bye. again. That or it's the pixies after your old knickers. Ha oh, ha, very funny. <laughs> Toby made it up to school, okay? Only just. He's late again. We're gonna get a call from a school. I just know it. He's just so tired in the mornings. Look, nightmares are normal at his age, Judy. Sign of an active imagination. There's nothing wrong with him. Hey, did I say there was? <laughs> no, but his teacher seems to think there is. Did you see his comments about the story Toby wrote? The scarecrow in the closet with the black eyes. No, no Mr. Barton is a tosser. <laughs> anyway, blame the foxes for last night. Their cries probably woke him up. That would have set him off. Gave me quite a start when they got going. That just shows where he gets his imagination from. How's that? Wrong time of year. Foxes only scream when they want to mate. Ah. And no, that will not work for you. Hello. Oh, hi. Yes. We're both beavering away. It's Jeff. Hopefully a week. Two at tops. Yes, that's right. No, I mean it this time. Anyway, I'm glad you called. It's early days, but we've had an idea for another story. Maybe for the Sunday paper? Yes, another local story. Very local, in fact. There's something going on up on the moors near us. Near the Gentleman Jim site? <laughs> yes, Jeff the Killer. Anyway, the army's up to something. Blocking off a whole section of the moors. And we've seen some pretty heavy-duty lorries heading up there at night. It looks like they're setting up a new base. Yeah, I know, but why here? The last time anyone invaded here was in 1066. No, they're not answering any questions. No, I doubt it's got anything to do with the missing woman. My thinking is it's for nukes. Otherwise, why the secrecy? You don't think painting a bloody great bullseye for the Russians right in the middle of one of the most beautiful places in England is a story? NIMBY! There shouldn't be nukes anywhere in this country. It's just Heath pretending we're some kind of superpower. But yes, they especially shouldn't be in bloody Kintry, a couple of miles from my kids. Look... Julie's here, wants to speak to you. Yeah, see you. Tory wanker. Hi, Jeff. No, he's just a bit tired. Toby had a nightmare last night, woke us all up. Look, Jeff, you'll be happy to know we're off the Gentleman Jim story. This one's bigger. Yes, definitely bigger than Burma. Look, Andrew's taken some good photos of what's happening up there. Let him print them and send them to you. And I'll keep digging, see what I can find. I think this story could play well, especially for older readers. No, I really do. Well, have a look and see what you think. Okay, great. Love to Mary. Okay, <laughs> bye-bye now. Well, that could have gone better. Fuck him. There's more than one editor in London. 
You hear him? Bastard called me a nimby. He's teasing. It's Jeff. You know what he's like. He likes you. He wouldn't call if he didn't care. I know, I know. What is it? I'm not sure. Oh, they're probably just Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> yeah. A sign that Kintry's finally on the map when the religious nut jobs turn up. The gentleman gym book was a mistake. I accept that. But we'll start earning money again soon. What's our motto? Pick up whatever we find. Yeah, pick up whatever we find. We're good at what we do. And there's a story up there on the moors. And when we get to the bottom of it, Jeff will be begging for it and get double the money. You know it. You know I love you, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Even if you did let me talk you into that bloody bird. Don't worry. Never again. Uh-oh. God's sending them in our direction. Here they come. Oh, shit. What? You don't want to be converted? Emily. Oh, shit. The bloody doorbell. Just in the nick of time. Or are you going to wake the baby? So, can I help you? We have all the religion we need at the moment. But if you're looking for a donation... Uh... Have you spoken to Kay? Sorry? His name is Mr. Kay. Have you spoken to him before we came? I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry, which organization are you with? Watchtower? Jehovah's Witness. We've come from Kintry Mall. We want to speak to you. We have questions for you and your wife. <laughs> Are you sure you have the right people? Yes. We were looking for you. It's about the project. Hello. They're from the base up on the moors. Want to speak to us about what's going on up there. Ask us a few questions. Ask us questions? Well, I don't know. Um, will it take long? No. Not long. Well, well, I think we can manage to answer a few questions. Please, come in. Andrew, I need to take them to the living room and I'll make some tea. Sure. Come in, Miss, Mr. Blair. We are Mr. and Mrs. Blair. Please, sit down. Oh, your shoelace. It's undone. It's undone. We're sorry. We will take care of this in time. Right then. I'm just going to go and see how the tea's coming on. Back in a second. I'm going to tape over the dry interview with that farmer, okay? Oh, the 
fuck are we doing? Those people in there are seriously fucking weird. I felt more comfortable when the Burmese army were pointing their Kalashnikovs at us. If they sent people to question us, we must be onto something. Did you hear their names? What, Blair? Yes, it's fake. It's a shop down the road. They're hiding something. Something great. Judy, I don't like this, okay? Let's just try and get them out of here as quickly as possible. Okay, fine. Where should I put this? Um, that one. Yeah. You see it? It's fine. Just hold your tea in front of it. Okay. <laughs> And you said you're based on the Moors? Yes, the Moors. The Moors. And, and we're the only people you're speaking to? Yes, just you. We came to speak to you. <laughs> Doesn't that make us feel special? <laughs> <laughs> Tea? <clears throat> Tea? Or, or would you prefer coffee? I could make coffee as well if you'd prefer that. No. Uh, this is your house. Your decision. <laughs> Tea it is. <laughs> Coffee's not very good anyway. We hardly ever drink it. <laughs> There you go, darling. Thank you. It's hot. Hot. We should ask you the questions now, if you're hot enough. Hot? If you have finished becoming hot, we should start. Uh, yes, absolutely. I'm very interested to hear what you'd like to know. Would it be possible for us to ask you a few questions ourselves when, when you're finished? That depends what you tell us. We will know that when we are finished here. Fine. Hmm. Aren't you going to take notes? Write down the answers to your questions? No. We will remember. Right. You are Mr. and Mrs. Costello. Yes, of course. Complete names? Well, I'm uh, Julie, well, Juliet, and... Uh... I'm Andrew. What age are you each? 35. 32. How long do you live in Kintree? I grew up here. This is my parents' house. Well, it was my parents' house. They died a few years ago, and, well, <clears throat> we just settled here with our family. Yes, 1970. I remember Bridge Over Troubled Water was number one in the charts. You know, Simon and Garfunkel? Andrew, do you have a mother or father in Kintry? My mother lives in London, and my father passed away. He died when I was ten. Do you have any children? Look, I thought you were here to ask us about Kintry Moors. Yes, we will ask you that next. Okay. Yes, we have two children, um, Emily and Toby. This 
This? This. <laughs> it's a photograph. I took it. T took. Do you like it? I do not decide. Stand away. Sit down. Now I will ask of Kintry Mort. How often do you go there? Well, we go there all the time. One of the reasons we moved here. It's quite, it's quite a view from up there, don't you think? It's a great spot for picnics, if it's not too windy. That's why we were sad when the army fences went up. Cuts into the scenery. Did you copulate on the moors? What? What did you just say? Listen, Moor. Did you fuck on Kintry Moors? All right, I've had enough of this. Is this some kind of sick joke? Okay, that's it. Get out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out! She has killed already. She will kill again. Don't be the first today, Mr. Costello. Now I will finish my question. If we ask your questions, will you please leave our house? Huh? You never said we would leave. Now you will tell me. When does Toby become here? Light. She won't stop until I go up there. She means she needs to go upstairs to stop Emily crying. Don't you understand that? Christ, who the hell are you people? We are. We are from the Kintry Moors. We are persons. Okay. We are K. Please, just let my wife go upstairs to see to Emily. Stop her crying. She won't try to run. Will you, sweetheart? Good. You watch him. I will go with her. No! You do not want Mrs. Blair to go up there. It would be... Uh, 
bad thing. Recognize. You were here last night, weren't you, bastard? Toby heard you. I what? We watch. Now make the noise. Please just leave our house. No. I am begging you now. Please just go. Not complete. I'm sorry I was rude to you back there. I shouldn't have sworn at you. You don't look well, Mrs. Blair. Can't you let us help you? We'll cooperate. Really? I don't decide. However long it takes, Mr. Blair. She'll drift off again when she's ready to. Not before that. Babies aren't machines. They don't have off switches. Question. You didn't answer it. Which question? When does Toby become here? When does he come home? Why? Why do you need to know that? You will be complete. I will be complete. He comes home after school. Around three o'clock. Sometimes half past. Is that a long time from now? Jesus, who are you people? It's just an act. Look, I understand maybe there are things you can't tell us, orders you've been given, but please. I have got to 
know what this is about. What is it exactly that you want? Do you understand? I just... I want you gone from here. You know what it is. You know why we are here, Mrs. Costello. No. No, I don't. You need to tell me. You do. No. You were on. If you hear the baby, they'll know someone is in. Who is they? Is they Toby? No, not Toby. I don't know who they is, but they will get suspicious if I don't go down there. And then they will go get the police to check on Emily. Either way, you are <laughs> fucked. Go downstairs. Speak to the other person. Say we are here, or I will take your baby. I will remove her head. You will see if Mr. Costello draws in the other. I will kill your baby. Then I will kill you. Well, see, put the baby back in. Object. Go down there quickly. I will be here with your baby. Do this now. Sorry about this, Julie, but there's no way I'm getting this through your letterbox. Oh, hello, Sam. That's not a problem. Picked a good day for it. Yeah, well, one minute it's raining, next minute it's shine. Never guess it was England, would you? <laughs> Still all part of being on Her Majesty's service. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that were me, wasn't it? Oh, don't worry, Sam. She's been at it all night. Oh, I know what they like at that age of three of my own. <laughs> well, my wife has, yeah. I did the easy part. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Right, well, anyway, I'd better let you get up to his lordship. I, I mean, uh, ladyship. Is that right? Oh, at this point, I really don't know. Right. All right, yeah. Oh, sorry, love. Nearly forgot. you got to sign for this one. Right. Where do I? Oh, uh, just print your name there and, and sign there. Is everything all right? Oh, Mrs. Costello. Yes, um, yes, I'm sorry. It's just been a very long night. Yeah, I'd better get back up to her lordship. Ladyship. Oh, yeah, ladyship, yes. Mm. I mean... Well, took her in time. Bye. Bye, Sam.
Watch! doing his job. Came to deliver that poster we ordered. Nice, I, I... I wrote a note asking for help. And now he's dead. Then it's all my fault. He has three children. You just told me. Emily. Shh. Emily's safe. She's sleeping upstairs. The man let me feed her, but won't let me bring her downstairs. He, he nearly said something before Sam came. But hasn't said a word since. I, I, just, I, I just don't understand why they're here. They're just crazies. Like the Charlie Manson gang. We were just fucking unlucky to be here when they came. No. I don't think that's it. He said they've been watching us. They're here for a reason. They just... They can't... They can't communicate properly. Yes. Because they're fucking crazy. No. No. It's as if they are like... like they're like children. They're obviously not stupid, but they don't know anything. First I thought it was a tactic to try and scare us, intimidate us. That they were from the new base, but... And then I'm certain it is an act. So what's interesting about us? <gasps> if they're not crazy, if this isn't about the base, then what else? This is Burma. Burma? After all this time? We made enemies over there, remember that? They could have come here to pressure us. And... What was that? Maker. Just give it to him. 
if you try to run, I will catch you. I will finish one of you. If you bring others, I will finish the baby. Get the fuck out of our house. Sit down. Stand up now. Bad actions will happen if you do not. What the fuck do you want from us? You know. You. No, you would have. You all, well, we know what you saw, but you refuse it! figure this out. It's gonna be alright, I promise you. How's it gonna be alright? They're going to kill us. We don't know that. They haven't done it yet, have they? Maybe if we figure out what it is they want. Let me out, you fuckers! That's my baby! Do you hear me? I swear, if that fucking woman touches her, I will kill you! Open this fucking door now! You made noise stop from baby. Why does it continue? Because she's alone and afraid and she needs me. Please let me out. No. You have to talk. 
say what you have done, then go to bed. If I do that, if I talk to you, tell you everything I know, will you please let us out and get Emily to take care of her? You may go to baby. Fix it. Then bring it back down. Then you talk. If you do not answer questions, more harm will happen. Okay, fine, fine. Just now open the door. You will go upstairs with Mrs. Blair. See to baby, switch off. No. No. I'll go up and bring Emily down. You stay. Julie will stay. Talk to you about what you want to know. Once baby is quiet, then bring down. Not before that. When does Toby return? Why are you so interested in Toby? Toby here, you will not run. You are here. You don't need Toby for that. You don't have to threaten us. We will do anything you ask. Not. No. Look, if, if you have questions about what we know, ask me. Or Andrew, anything. Okay? When is Toby? About one hour. Near? Soon. Please, when he comes, just... Just don't hurt him. Bring him to me and I'll keep him quiet. He won't trouble you. And then I'll tell you everything you want to know. And then you can leave us alone. I will decide what is everything, not you. You have to understand, I can't help you if I don't know what it is you need to know. You have seen. You catch. You. Your husband, you catch. You caught. I and Mrs. Blair, we were sent to make to find. Sent by who? The distant. They will be here. When? Soon. Who are they? You already know. You caught them. Soon, they will call to you. This is about the Moors, isn't it? About what we saw there. Caught. Photos. 
Is that it? The pictures Andrew took. We haven't even printed those yet. If we show you those photos, you will go, right? Right? When you first came here, you said you'd answer my questions. Yes. Will you? No. You come to my house. You beat me. Beat my husband. Scare my daughter. You killed Sam. You... What is Sam? Fuck you! You heard me, you bastard. Sam is that man out there in God knows what state. That's Sam. A dead man. A man you killed. She did that. Oh, well that's all right then. You're in the clear. Would you mind awfully fucking off then? I just want you gone from here. I, t I just want you to go. Ask. What? Ask your question. I will not answer if it is bad. Okay. Uh. Would you know? Wait. Okay. Who is they? Who is coming? They are the... Those who decide. They... Are real without clothes. The distant. So wait, you're not real. What are you then? Them. I don't understand. I am not them. I am Kay. I am also them. We are Kay. You and the woman. You and Mrs. Blair. Yes? Yes. Just... What exactly is going to happen when they come? I do not understand. They, no, I, I mean them. When them get to the house. What will happen? You will be questioned. We will be questioned. We will go. Wait. When you say we will go, are you going to go or do you mean... What are you doing? I think what they're looking for could be in here. 
They think we caught something and maybe we did and we just didn't notice it, but you were taking photos. Here's another thought. Maybe they're just fucking psychopaths and this has nothing to do with a fucking army base! Jesus, Andrew, what do you expect of me? To just sit back and wait till Toby gets back home and they do God knows what with him? Damn it! Why'd you just never mark anything with a date or a name? How do you find anything? <sighs> Please, Andrew, help me. You didn't see what they did to Sam. We have to hurry. All right. <laughs> anything this small. I had to blow them up and print them. Otherwise we'd have noticed at the time. Well, how long will that take? You know how long. A while. There's no quick way to do these things. We don't even know what we're looking for and there's no guarantee we'll find anything anyway. But maybe we will. Yeah, and maybe they're just fucking with us. Have you considered that? What choice do we have? If there is a chance of finding something to make them go, we've got to take it. Fine. I'll get started. You go and listen out for Toby. Toby, you have to listen to me. You have to get out of the house now. Go get help. Go. You have to trust me, sweetheart. Please, you have to do as I say. Hurry. Mummy, you're scaring me. I don't understand. <laughs> Why is the door locked? There are bad people in this house, Toby. You have to get out. Go, go. go. Toby. <laughs> Toby, are you still there? <laughs> Toby! Complete. Bastards! Sick, evil bastards! Do not 
understand, but do avoid trouble. Now, you help us. You admit you caught. Yes, yes, I caught. I have your fucking caught. Where is the caught? In here. I'll find it and bring it to you. But you must let my family go. Family? Yes, my family, them. No. Family stays. You bring that is caught. Then, then we questions. Talk, yes, we talk. <laughs> How the woman is falling apart. Both of them. You see their eyes? Yes. And? And what? What do you think? I mean, what the hell are they? Julie, if I stop and think about that now, I'll go bloody crazy. Let's just admit they're not Mr. and Mrs. Blair. Do you think? Well, it's just, it, you know, if they're falling apart, do you think that we could, you know, stand up to them? They were too strong before, but maybe now we can. I don't know, Julie. We don't know anything about them. Who, what they are. Perhaps they're turning into something else. Maybe something even stronger. Damn it, why has no one come around? The amount of noise these bastards have made. They're all out at work. They won't be back for ages yet. Oh, come on, not everyone. What about Tina? Tina's around all the time. She's in Dorset. Her daughter's sick, remember? Sam. Sam. He's missing. Surely they'll send out the police to ask about him. Maybe. But it's Sam, remember? They'll probably think he's just nipped off to the pub and got hammered. Anything? No. And this is the last one. Nothing. Fuck. Nothing at all. afraid of finding something or not finding something <sighs> what's that must have missed one
Mom, what's happening? They're just bad people, sweetheart. They're bad people who think Mom and Dad saw something we shouldn't have. And we didn't know what they meant, but now we do. So once we explain, then they'll leave from here, okay? This is what they want, Toby. Exactly this. I'll show it to them and, and they'll go away. What is it? It's a photo of the bad people. They're doing bad things and they don't want to be caught. Like Charlie at school? Yes, that's right. Like Charlie at school. They're just bullies. And like all bullies, they're scared and stupid and they're frightened of being caught. It's okay. Andrew. It's gonna be all right. Isn't it? Of course. Look after them, okay? Yeah. We'll get through this. You? Yes. It's me. I've got your proof. You're caught. I've got your caught. Caught. Yes. So what happens now? You come out. And I and you talk. Will you let Julie and the children go? You and I talk. Okay. No. Come. Henry. This. This. It is a dictaphone. Dictaphone. It records voices. People speaking. It captures voices. Voices are caught. Julie uses it for work. She used it on you. Caught voices. This. I don't know what's inside it. I'd have to open it. from a gallery after an exhibition we'd been to. They were out of stock, Judy liked it. 
She thought it... Sam died because of the stupid fucking poster. Like it? No. This. It is. It's a cassette deck. Cassette deck. No. No. Music. It plays music. People like to listen to music to fucking relax. Enjoy them fucking selves. And that's my son's school. Although I suspect you've seen that before. All right. You want to see inside? Ah. See? Drawings of animals. You happy? You prick. My son loves to draw. Terrible geography. He loves to fucking draw. Yes. This is what it's all about, right? But before I show you, I want you to promise you'll let my family go. Show this. Will you promise? I want your promise. Show this, or I will remove your head from your body. And listen, I bought all the negatives as well. There are no other copies. You take these, the negatives, everything, and there'll be no proof that you were ever here. Okay? You have my word. You understand? If you knew anything about people, you'd know that nobody would believe me even if I told them everything I've seen. Everything you've done. You can go now and nothing will happen to you. Please, will you just take these and go? What? There! Caught! Look, we were just taking photos of that new army base that suddenly appeared at the edge of the moors. We wanted to know why it was there. We didn't know anything about you. We weren't even looking for you. But we caught you by mistake. We didn't even know we had until just now. This caught you and them. For fuck's sake! We have nothing to do with those soldiers or the government! We're just fucking journalists! We were photographing them, not you! You!
see to your sister. I think she needs her big brother right now. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah. Good son. Andrew. Andrew. What happened? They're gonna kill us. I know that now. Oh my God, they're gonna kill us. You look great in this shirt. Why'd you throw it away? You threw it out. The mm. elbows had holes. Mm. Andrew. Do we have any chance of getting out of this? Any chance at all?
We have more photos to show you. More caught. We mean it this time. We can prove we're not with those soldiers. Yes. Just open the door and let us out. I've got them right here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> 